All right, so this is a picture of a room with some furniture, and I think it looks quite nice and cozy. But did you know that this room is actually empty? Because this is the original photo of the room. As you can see, there's nothing there. But thanks to AI, I was able to populate the room with some uh, cozy furniture, some great looking furniture to make the room feel comfortable and nice to look at. And on top of that, you can actually interact with some furniture on this picture. For example, if I click this, it will reveal to me the name of the item and where I can buy the product. So basically, you can use AI to give you some interior design inspiration. And not only that, it will actually point to you where you can buy the item. So in this video, I'm going to show exactly how you can achieve that effect using only Perplexity AI. So let's go to perplexity.ai and then you can log in with your account. And now I'm going to be using this AI prompt. So this is the prompt that I will use, but don't worry, you don't have to type the prompt manually because I'm going to leave the full prompt in the video description. And here you have to upload a picture that are uh, basically a picture of empty room. And in this case, I'll try to use uh, maybe different photo this time. I'll try to use this one. Uh, it is just empty room. I'm going to right click and then copy. And let's go back to perplexity and then I'm going to paste the picture right there. Um, by the way, you can also just click the paper clip icon and then you can select the picture from your device. Now let's switch to the lapse mode. So uh, all those things that I just show you is only possible if you're using the lapse mode. So if you are not using Perplexity Pro or Enterprise version, unfortunately, the lapse mode is not available. So I do recommend to just uh, use the Pro version because I think it's really worth it. You can also check the link in the video description if you want to get $10 discount. Now, after that, you can send a message and just wait for Perplexity to generate or to do research based on the room, based on the prompt that you have provided, and it will generate uh, this a basically interactive page that uh, allows you to uh, click on any furniture and then you can learn more about the product that they i just recommend for that room so i guess i'll just be back when it is done okay after about 10 minutes this is the result i'm going to click view full screen and just wait for it for perplexity labs to open the page now this is the result as you can see you can click on any of these elements and it will reveal the product name and where you can buy it and by the way this one looks a bit different than my previous example. It showcased me the price and also some layout tips based on the room, which is always nice. But let's see if the product recommendation is on the spot. So overall, the design looks nice, but let's see if the product is actually something that we can buy. I'm going to click this. And it is IKEA Malm Platform Bed Frame. I think that's pretty accurate. I'm not sure about that, but let's click shop now. Okay, so it is actually not referring me to any particular product page, which is kind of understandable because AI is not very good at providing links. It's often just hallucinate some random links. So this is not referring me to an actual page, which is kind of expected. And also based on my testing, it is not always giving you the hotspot, which is this point. Uh, that is always accurate. It is not going to show you exactly where the product really is. For example, there is this product on the ceiling for some reason, but as you, as you can see, there is nothing here. And let's say there is this button, there is this interactive hotspot. If I click on, if I open it, it tells me that it is IKEA photo table lamp. There is no table right there. The table is right here or here, but this is not it. So it is not quite perfect. And I think it is partly because this tool, uh, Perplexity Labs, is not exactly full AI agent. It doesn't know what the actual position of each furniture inside of the picture. And that's why it's kind of randomly scattering everything, which sometimes could be spot on, but most of the time it's not going to be accurate. But at least you can get some product recommendation and also some references about the furniture that you could buy for your room. So I guess that's basically how you can do it. And again, I'm going to leave the prompt in the video description. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next video.